Hello Minecraftians, this is Bad Boy Halo with the Saints of Games, and today I'm bringing you a kit review on the Vampire Kit. The Vampire Kit allows it so that when you kill other players and mobs, you get a health bonus. This makes this kit useful in any combat situation, whether you're fighting against mobs because you kill them and you get a health bonus based on how strong the mob you're fighting is. If you're fighting other players and you kill them, your health has been filled up. If you're fighting a team of people and you kill one of them, you can then kill the next person in the team and the next, and you can move on, and it's really great against team players. If you're mining in caves, you don't have to be afraid of mobs or being ganged up by a bunch of them because you just kill one, your health is regenerated, and you just keep going on and on and keep mining, doing what you're doing, and you won't have to worry about being killed. This kit also, when you kill a player who has done no damage to you and you have full health, you will get a health potion. So this kit is very useful in every combat situation and even in non-combat situations like I mentioned with mining and looking for ores and materials and just not having to be afraid of mobs or getting killed other than a surprise attack by creepers and surprise attacks by other players. If you get into a serious combat situation and you run out of soups, you have those potions to rely on and you can fall back on them. The only thing you really need to be worried about when using this kit is getting into a one-on-one -on -one fight with a player and not having any extra advantage over them in the fight other than the potions that you'll have or if there are mobs nearby you can utilize those to your advantage. The tips I offer with this kit are in a fight if you're fighting someone one-on-one -on -one or fighting a team use mobs that are nearby. Use like weak mobs or mobs that will take only a couple hits to kill because then you can attack them while you're in a fight, kill a chicken in one shot, get those extra hearts, and then go in and fight the person some more. So if you run out of soups, run out of potions, you still have mobs that you can kill and get extra health benefits from. Also, when you first start the game, be sure to try and kill as many players as possible so you can build up on potions, like get a stone sword, and then just start getting a couple potions beforehand so you can use them later in the game when people have more armor. The rating that I'm giving this kit is based on how awesome it is at killing teams, the fact that there's really no disadvantages when you use this kit, and the fact that it is so good just in the thing that gets most people killed in fighting teams and fighting mobs. So this kit is amazing for all of that, and it is such a good kit. That's why I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. This vampire kit is such a great kit, and it will make an excellent addition to any kit arsenal. Thanks for watching this kit review, and if you feel like more vampire gameplay, you can check out my I Feel Like a Vampire gameplay. Also, if you want to check out more kit reviews, go ahead and check those out. Subscribe if you like the channel, and if you like the video, please give it a like. Have a happy Hunger Games, everyone, and may the odds be ever in your favor.